Hello everyone, um, I'm just wanting to uh, show on how easy it is just to make a, um, a directory or as um, the, the Windows uh, knowledgeable people are uh, a folder in the Linux uh, slash Raspberry Pi environment. So i um, just got a little web server that's running on my Pi at the moment. I uh, just want to show you what I've got in there at present. Um, now. At the moment, I've got uh, for a tutorial. I was trying to run through and I failed. Uh, I've got um, index.php.php, index.php, and index.basic.php. Um, whilst I want to keep um, two of them in there, uh, I don't want to keep the. Um, sorry, I want to get rid of two of them. Keep one of them in. So uh, what I'm going to do is a. Uh, it's a simple command, uh, and it's. Um, MKDIR. So think of it as an abbreviation of make a directory, and uh, what we're going to call it is a temp uh, internet, for example. Okay, so all we need to do is just do that. That'll give us the, um, the folder itself or the directory. So if I just do uh, ls slash l, l just as a, a, a quick note, it gives you kind of the uh, the information for each folder and its permissions, etc., etc., uh, the number of bytes held and the modification date. Um, but again, we, we don't need to worry about that. Um, so, what you can do, you might have made a mistake. Um, say, for example, I don't, oh, I don't particularly care. For, I'm just thinking about it. I don't particularly care for that uh, temp internet. Um, what we can do, is, sorry, is to do um, another command, which is remove the IR. Uh, and then the the name of the folder again. Now, if you have uh, part way across, and something that you do get to learn with the Linux is, if you do get to the point where you've kind of partially um, typed the name of a file and it's quite unique, if you just press Tab, it auto completes. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just press that um, again. Do the ls l command, and there we go. You can see that the the temp internet uh, is gone and hey presto so you've actually learned two commands there so one is to make the directory and one to remove it now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make uh, the, another directory uh, uh, I'll just call it temp file for now uh, which is fine um, a nice little habit I have it is probably it probably would get on everyone else's nerves but I quite like to see that you know things have happened if, if it hasn't happened for a reason I know I've done something wrong uh, Linux will probably tell me about it but you know, <laughs> I tend to ignore it sometimes um, so what I want to do is I want to then move I and I want to move I believe it's the index uh, basic dot PHP file uh, and I want to move it to the temp File. This is going to be right. Okay. So if I just do ls l, now we can see that we've moved the index basic.php into the temp file. So what if I was to look here? Uh, I've only got the two index files now, and we've just got the temp file. But if I was to cd, uh, which allows you to hop over to the the directory so temp tab to complete it and ls dash oops dash l there we go got the index basic file um, if you want to go back a step so you want to go back to the um, directory you was in before you can just do cd dot dot ls again and then we're back now um, you can also move multiple uh, files in one go. So if I wanted to go move, I do index.php and then index.php.php, and we want to put in temp file, do ls l again. Again, it's moved those files out. So that's a quick way of doing that. Um, what I want to do now is I actually want to bring back, um, I can't remember the file, but I 
think it was the index dot uh, index PHP dot PHP. Uh, obviously getting confused with all the files. Uh, so I'll just uh, cd uh, into the temp file. And I want to move um, index um, PHP PHP to um, bar slash www. And then if I do cd dot dot ls slash dash L. There we go. I've got it back. Also, yeah, just whilst we're on the the, the move command will also allow you to change the uh, name of a file. So if I do that, index dot php. I've now then amended it. So that's another little way. It's, it's like a, a name changer. So it's, it's a nice little function actually. Instead of you know rename, you just what it is now and what you want it to become and that's it uh, obviously don't put any um, well you can do if you want to uh, you can put into a, a, another folder file and that's it I mean it's I know that I think I've probably gone through this very quickly but um, you, you can have a play around just create a, a little text document um, and move things around get 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 used to the the way Linux is because uh, it's totally different from the way Windows operates and Explorer but once you get used to it you'll find things to, uh, on how or a lot of the tutorials on YouTube go you'll find them a lot easier so um, yeah I hope you found this video useful um, it's going to be probably the one of many uh, I've got lots to run through uh, but again I'm, I'm I'm just here to help out. Uh, hopefully people have found these videos useful. Okay, thanks a lot.